What's wrong, Brady? What's wrong? Oh, my wrist hurts, Daddy. Your wrist hurts? So we had a little incident today. Brady is at the clinic right now with his wrist hurt. So I'll explain to you later after we leave here. But he's not feeling too great. Are you Brady? What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. We're starting the vlog off pretty late in the afternoon. Have a good reason though. So earlier today we had a pretty big scare. So let me explain. We had to go to the clinic to get Brady checked out. So we were upstairs around 12 o'clock today and I was working up there and I was bringing Brady down the stairs uh, so that I could change his diaper. So he always wants to hold your hand when he goes down the stairs because he thinks he is grown. So you just hold his hand and he'll step down each stair. So I was doing that like we always do. And we made it to the last step. And when we did, he fell forward a little bit. He normally does that and just kind of like jokes around, starts laughing because he falls forward and all you do is just hold his hand. But he did that and we made it down the stairs. I thought everything was fine. Right when I let go of his arm, he grabs his left arm and is just holding it. And he starts like crying. He goes to Shelby and we go in there and check it out. And he's not moving his arm. All he's doing is keeping it by his side. And so we knew something was wrong. The first thing I thought, he either broke his wrist or he fractured his wrist just the way he was holding it. So we called some different people, his pediatrician, and they told us to come in and let's get it checked out. So me and Shelby got ready really quickly. We headed to the clinic and we got in there and they did all the paperwork and stuff. And the doctor comes in there and literally it took her about five to 10 minutes. And all she did was snap his elbow back into place so no fracture and no broken bones all it was is his elbow came out of place and I had no idea elbows can go out of place I just thought that your shoulders can go out of place because I've seen that happen all the time uh, but she said with little kids it's real easy for their elbows to go out of place so you just have to be careful with them so yeah pretty scary situation because it's like oh gosh Brady's gonna be walking around with a cast on when he's only like a year and a half old and it's just gonna be so sad but luckily no Nothing serious happened. Before I go to the gym, we're gonna say hi to Shelby. How do you feel that your husband broke your son? <laughs> he didn't break him. That was so sad. It was really I sad. I broke our son. He didn't break him. He was just sitting there holding his wrist. It was, it was really so sad. sad. He was in so much pain. It was so painful to watch that kid. But luckily, he doesn't have to walk around with a cast because that's what I was worried about. I was like, oh my gosh, this little kid is gonna be walking around with a cast and it's just gonna be so sad seeing him where he can't even use his left arm. But luckily, it was no big deal and now he's totally fine. So since it is so late in the day now, we're pretty much gonna be starting off the vlog with a workout. Today's workout is gonna be a push day. So that's the reason why I wanted to record today because I know a lot of people are wanting to see my push workouts because of course, everyone wants a big chest and shoulders. I'm taking the pre-build by Muscle Tech, and then we're gonna head to the gym. So I do two different push workouts in a week and they're a little bit different. The first one today is gonna be more of a push day and the second push day is gonna be more for like flies for chest because you don't wanna do the exact same routine two times in a row and that's the same thing I do with pull workout and legs. So each workout is a little bit different. So we're gonna go over there, take the pre-workout and then get this push workout started. So today I'm taking Shelby's car because we already had to drive it and today is another gloomy day so it's raining so i just washed my baby and shelby's car actually but because we already had to take her car to the clinic it's already dirty so just pulled up at the gym i'm still sipping on my pre-workout so i forgot to tell you that this gym that i can record at got new dumbbells over the new year i'm so excited they go up to 150 pounds now so i no longer have to go to gold's gym to lift heavy because before this gym only went to 100 pound dumbbells and i always had to go to gold's gym if I wanted to do anything heavier, but they upgraded so now I can just lift as heavy as I want. What's up everyone, I hope you're all enjoying the video. So as I said in my last uh, vlog that I'm doing the push-pull leg split and I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now and I'm not really sure how I feel about it because uh, as you guys know, when you do the push-pull leg split and you do each muscle group twice a week, you're supposed to break down the volume. Well. 
That is very hard for me to do because I'm all about volume and if I don't leave the gym feeling exhausted, I don't feel like I've done enough. So I have to really kind of adapt to this way of training because you're supposed to split pretty much your volume in half so that uh, when you do the two workouts, it equals out to being about the same as you would do like one high volume a day, but you just break it up into two different workouts. Well, I've been doing a lot of volume for both workouts in the week, so I know I'm doing too much volume because I know my body's not going to recover as much as it should if I did lower volume during those workouts. But I'm just going to have to find out what works best for me because right now I'm just not sure because I've never really done this kind of training before. So the very first exercise was incline barbell bench press. I did five sets total. Yeah, I know. Very high volume for doing each muscle group twice a week, but oh well. So anyways, I did two sets. Uh, for around 10 to 12 reps and then I did three sets of six to eight reps so lifting pretty heavy and then after that went into shoulder press seated shoulder press with dumbbells I did four sets of 10 reps and then went into flat dumbbell bench press I did three sets of these for around uh, 10 to 12 reps no drop set in any of these uh, exercises I'm just doing straight sets after that went into dumbbell side raises I did uh, four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And on the last set of these, I did do a triple drop set. So I started off with like the 35 pound dumbbells. I did as many reps as I could get and then dropped it down to the 30 pounds, did as many reps as I could do, then to the 25s and then to the 20s. After that went into flies with the cable and I did two different uh, movements with this. So I went high to low, three sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And then after doing those three sets, I lowered the cable apparatus down to about shoulder height and I did another three sets for around 12 to 15 reps. Now the purpose of adjusting the cable height is to hit the chest in all different angles. So when you go high to low, that's gonna be hitting the lower chest and then when we go shoulder height, that's gonna be hitting the mid chest. Now of course, any chest movement is gonna be hitting the whole chest, but you can focus on one area of the chest just a little bit more by adjusting the height. And this is pretty much the exact same angle you would be getting on a pec net fly or a machine fly, but it's always good to change up the exercises as well. So that's the reason why I went the cables this time instead of just like a seated pec deck fly. After that, went into triceps. I did cable, tricep, push down, four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. On the last set, I did a double drop set. Uh, now, on this particular exercise, what I'm trying to do is go up, stretch up at the top, and then push down. I'm pausing down at the bottom for a split second, making sure I'm squeezing down at the bottom, so that way I'm getting that full contraction. After that, went into school crushers with an easy bar. I did five sets of these for around 10 to 12 reps. I did not do a drop set on this exercise, so I just went as heavy as I could do for uh, those 10 to 12 reps. You notice I'm going right past my head. I'm not going to my forehead. So every once in a while I'll change it up and go to my forehead just to do a different angle. But I wanted to get that full stretch down at the bottom. So that's the reason why I'm going past my head with this skull crusher. After that went into the last exercise for this whole entire workout. It was tricep extensions on a machine. Now a lot of gyms don't have this particular machine. So if your gym does not, don't worry. Just go over to a cable and use a rope and do an overhead extension with the rope. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. On the last set, I did a double drop set. But guys, that is the end of the workout. If you want to give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So since I broke Brady, and had to go to, Brady. I did break him. Shelby said his arm is completely fine. Like he's using it like, he was carrying around his basketball goal. Oh, he's totally fine. <laughs> but Daddy had to go to the store to get him some treats, so he got him some banana cookies. His favorite fruit is a banana, so I think he's going to love these things. Do you like them? It's like, what the heck is this? And then I also got him some apple cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon uh, Cheerios. Shelby hates him having the sweet stuff, but because <laughs> I heard him. He got a nice you want treat. Those. Oh, you want the Cheerios. Is that good? What do you think about your banana cookie? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yo, say thank you, Dada. So for dinner tonight, we are having pasta with red sauce and turkey meat. So the turkey meat is 99% lean and we have the noodles over here cooking and then I'm about to make some toast. Yeah, Brady. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to tell the vlog? How do you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel good? Huh? Yeah, he is completely fine. This kid has not missed a beat whatsoever. So now Brady's all ready for bed. I'm about to read his favorite bedtime book, Superhero Dad. Yeah, that's my face. You ready for bed, Brady? Yes, he is so tired. So we're gonna see you guys tomorrow. Fist bump, fist bump. Well, hello, Brady. How are you feeling today? Let's check out that elbow. Don't fall over and break it. <laughs> Feels totally fine. This kid is completely normal today. He has no idea what happened yesterday, what kind of pain he was in, do you? Yeah, yeah. So day two of the vlog, you're gonna get two workouts in one because today is gonna be a pull day. So like I said in my push day yesterday, I have two different push workouts and I have two different pull workouts and I have two different leg workouts. Today is gonna be the first pull day of the week. Uh, Brady is down here just watching me vlog. He loves when I vlog. Check out the gift that Shelby's mom got Brady. She got him all different cleaning supplies, got a broom, got a mop, got a duster. So now, uh, instead of him walking around with the big broom that he knocked over my camera with a couple of days ago, now he has his own broom. So I'm watching Brady right now while Shelby gets some work done, and then I'll be going upstairs getting my work done before I have to go to the gym to get this pool workout started. How about a snack, Brady? You want a snack? Okay, let's get you a snack. How about a banana cookie? Do you want a banana cookie? Do you? Uh-huh. Here's your banana cookie. Say thank you. Say thank you. A few moments later. Oh no, I made the mistake of showing him where the cookies are. What do you want? Oh no. He's trying to get mom. Tell me. <laughs> A banana cookie, mom. It is now lunchtime. I want to show you what I've been having for about a week now for lunch. So this is going to be also my pre-workout meal. This is a simple egg sandwich. So it's very simple to make and all you need is two pieces of bread. I got some whole wheat bread here. I use Miracle Whip, light Miracle Whip. You can use mayonnaise, like light mayonnaise or whatever you want, but I like Miracle Whip. And this is pretty low calorie per serving. This is only 20 calories. And then I also have a slice of fat-free cheese. You can use whatever cheese you would like. And then a cup of egg whites. And all you have to do is cook your cup of egg whites and I added some salt to that. After it gets done cooking, put it on your bread with your cheese and your Miracle Whip. Now when I was a kid, someone told me about this egg recipe and I thought putting Miracle Whip or mayonnaise with eggs sounded horrible, but it's actually really good. And this is a very high protein, lower fat, uh, medium carb meal. You can make this very low carbs if you would like by adding a lower carb bread or using a low carb wrap. And there you go. You just add the egg whites to your sandwich, put the cheese on top, and there's your egg sandwich. And the whole cup of egg whites did not fit on there, so I just have it on the side. So now Brady's taking a nap, and when he does, I'm gonna do a commentary for the push workout that I did yesterday, and then I'll do the commentary for the pull workout either later on uh, tonight or tomorrow, because I wanna get this video up as quickly as possible. Check it out, Shelby got up the Christmas stuff over there, but not the Christmas tree. That's the only thing we have left. We have that Christmas tree uh, downstairs, and then I still have the Christmas tree in my office to put up, but everything else uh, is gone. The mantle is all back to normal. Sad day when you put up all the Christmas stuff. Welcome back everyone to the second workout in this video. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this pull workout. The very first exercise I started with was wide grip lap pull downs. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps and the last set did a double drop set. Now, as you can see, I'm not going extremely wide on the grip. I'm going just outside shoulder width. I feel it engages my back a little bit more in my lats by going uh, just outside a shoulder width. If I go too wide, I feel it more in my biceps and that's not what I wanna do. I wanna really focus on those lats. After that, went into more pull downs. It was underhand grip. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on here as well. On the last set, I did a single drop set. So what I'm trying to focus on here is stretching up at the top and when I go down, lean back just a tad. And then when I go up, my head is going in between my arms and that's gonna allow uh, a full stretch of the lats. 
uh, at the top of that movement. After that, went into bit over barbell rows. It was underhand grip. The reason why I went with underhand grip here is because the last workout I did for back, I went with an overhand grip. So I like to switch it up every once in a while. So I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. And on the last set, I did a double drop set and I actually recorded the drop set on here. A lot of the times I don't record all my drop sets because it just takes way too long. So for any new people out there that is watching this video and doesn't know what a drop set is, you go to failure or hit amount of reps that you want to hit and then you immediately drop weight off and then you continue that set. Now for me, the weight differs on what exercise I'm doing. Sometimes I'll drop the weight a little bit more, but I tried to drop enough weight that I can squeeze out another four to six reps somewhere in there. So this is the first drop set that I dropped off a 25 on each side. So a total of 50 pounds and then uh, drop the weight again by another 50 pounds and then go to failure once more. And that is a double drop set. After that, went into more pull downs or kind of like a row. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. So this is the neutral grip pull down, but what I'm doing is leaning back. So my back is just about a 45 when I pull down. So I'm going up, stretching up at the top, and then leaning back and then pulling down. So it's kind of like a row more than a pull down. So I did four sets around 10 to 12 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. After that, we went into more rows and I did an incline bench dumbbell rows. I did five sets of these. And the only reason why I did five sets instead of like three or four is because people were using other equipment and I didn't want to lose the pump throughout this workout. So that's the reason why I did so many sets on here. So I did those five sets for around 10 to 12 reps, did not do any drop sets on this exercise. After that went into a superset. It was cable seated rows, uh, four sets of around 12 to 15 reps, superset with rope, cable, straight arm, pull downs. And I did those for around 12 to 15 reps as well. So what I'm trying to focus on here is stretching and then pulling back with my elbow was trying to bring my elbows back as far as I can, contracting the whole entire time, not using extreme amounts of weight here because I already lifted heavy throughout this workout. Now I'm trying to focus on that mind-muscle connection and really trying to drive as much blood into the back as I can. And after that, went into the last back movement. It was wide grip pull-ups. I did three sets to failure, and for failure at this point was around eight reps. So I was resting in between these sets for around 60 seconds. Now at the beginning of the workout, when I was doing the bent over rows, I was resting for around 90 seconds. But for the most part, I like to rest around 60 seconds. That gives me enough time to get my breath back and get my strength back. Because if you start a set and you don't have your breath back and you don't have your strength back, you're not going to be able to lift the same amount of weight. So that if you're looking to get bigger and you're looking to get stronger, you need to rest a good amount of time in order for your body to recover enough so that you can lift heavy. Now, it is a time and place that you lower the rest times and then go for more of a pump. But for the most part, you do want to rest enough so that you can lift heavy weight in the hypertrophy range. After that, went into the last exercise. It was easy bar curls. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And the reason why I just did one bicep exercise is because the next day I did a full arm workout. Well, guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So back in from the gym and I took a shower and now I am preparing dinner with Mr. Brady or Shelby as I'm kind of watching right now. We're going to have some tacos. I got this low carb wrap. It's hard to show you anything because I'm holding Brady because he's wanting to be held right now. And we have some black beans. We have some rice and we have some turkey meat mixed with some taco seasoning and that's going to be dinner. But guys, I'm going to end the video here because I know it's already going to be a long video uh, because I have two workouts in this one video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys. Peace. Hit the screen. Fist bump. Fist bump. Boom. But now they upgraded. So now I can just go in here. But now they update. But now they upgraded. So but now they upgraded. So I don't have to worry about going the go. But they upgraded.